this is Kaylee with the Drain Strainer, and I'm here with Richard Walls, who's the owner of Boone Tavern here in Columbia. What problems is the Drain Strainer going to solve for you today? We've had problems with our garbage disposal leaking, and now instead of having to spend a fortune on getting a new one, we're going to be able to replace that with the Drain Strainer. And I'm going to introduce Chris Hammerstone, who's actually going to do the installation for us. Chris, tell us a little bit about your company. Well, we own a chemical company. We've been doing this for 20 years, and uh, I take care of dishwashers and. Normally, I don't do this. I, to, I like this this product, and I want to try to use it and, and see what it's like to, to operate and how it is to install. So you're not actually a plumber. No, no, I just do chemical stuff. But uh, I I think I can I think I can do this, but I'm I'm willing to try. All right, sounds good. I hope that this will illustrate just how simple it is to replace your commercial garbage disposal with the drain strainer. Before we get started, can you actually kind of walk us through the process? Sure, sure. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the power off to, this, to the disposal here. Okay. Then I will have to take and disconnect the water supply to it. I will also have to disconnect the mounting brackets on it. I will slide that unit out and I will take this out and put the new drain strainer in and should be should be pretty good. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started and see if we can do this. All right. Great. Great. smaller disposals that was a heavy one so it took me about 20 minutes to get that out and normally it's like 15 maybe 10 minutes to take a little one out but uh, it wasn't too bad as you can see I got the area all prepped and everything and and we're ready to ready to put the drain strainer in I got to put this one together and I'm gonna put it together and then we'll uh, we'll put it in. How tall do you know how to make the legs? Well what I do is I measure the garbage disposal height to where it's going to be attached to and then uh, it has an attachment and extension okay. that you can actually screw onto it if you need to have the extra length, which is really neat. And then for your minute adjustment, it actually has the bottom the bottom actually adjusts too, to where you can get it exactly the height you want, where it's a snug fit, and that way nothing can escape from there. Okay, so now that you have this all put together, what's the next step? Well, now I'm going to slide it into place, and then I'll adjust the height I need. I will put a rubber fern coat boot on the bottom of it okay. for an easy attachment, and I've already put one on the other side of the drain. So then all I have to do is make one cut of the pipe, slide it in there, adjust my minor adjustment leg part up to where it's snug in there, and we're done. Yes, there is because in the kitchen area it gets really dirty, and this way here gives them the option to, to adjust the legs back down and that piece and disconnect the, the drain boot on it and just take it outside and be able to wash it and, okay. and spray wash it and stuff like that. And uh, if we decide later that they don't need to do that, we can always screw it to the floor and attach it, and uh, it'll be a permanent fixture there. So, how do you think it looks? Well, I think it looks great. It looks like we, we found a solution to our problem here. Thank you so much for letting us use your restaurant to show everybody how to install the drain strainer uh, as opposed to your garbage disposal. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Kaylee. It's been a real great experience this morning. Thanks. 